Thank you. A crisis stabilization unit is a place a person can go if they're having mental health issues. They can go there instead of being booked into jail. And for a long time, there has been a plan in place to open up several across the state. A year ago, one in central Arkansas officially opened its doors. Fox 16, Stephanie Sharp, learning how it's been going and how many people it's helped so far. Yeah. A ribbon cutting held July 2018. That's when the state opened the Pulaski County Crisis Stabilization Unit. A year later, the center actively working and staying busy. It's growing. Um, uh, it's kind of a change in culture. Pulaski County Judge Barry Hyde is passionate about the work CSU does. He says it gives people who are having a mental health issue a place to go and a social worker to talk to instead of an inmate number in the jail. Folks who are in mental episode who go to the jail have over an 80% probability of recidivism. According to UAMS, who runs the facility, patients were first being treated in August 2018. Since then, more than 500 people have gone through these doors. We try to divert them away from the criminal justice system if possible. Lieutenant Theodore Hasse with the Pulaski County Sheriff's Office says it starts far beyond CSU, but on the streets with law enforcement trained and crisis intervention team training to spot people with mental health problems and get them the help they need. If what they're doing is based on mental illness, then the best thing for them is to get them into treatment and not incarceration. Judge Hyde says the county has learned a lot about the program in a year, but still is just getting underway. This is a super uh, community service that UMS is, is providing. And Judge Hyde says it costs about $2.1 million to fund it each year, and there are 16 beds at the Central Arkansas Unit.